Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. Even the old gray lady, the New York Times, sometimes sensationalizes financial news. At a time when facts are under assault, the New York Times must be held to account for incorrectly asserting that the yield curve is, quote, perilously close to predicting a recession. Actually, the yield curve is not even close to predicting a recession. The yield curve, a byproduct of Alexander Hamilton's financial system for managing the U.S. economy, is the key lever of the National Bank, the U.S. Federal Reserve, for stimulating or slowing growth of the economy. The yield curve is generally defined as the difference between the 10-year Treasury bond rate and the short-term lending rate set by the Fed. Subtracting the short-term rate from the long-term rate results in the yield curve that's shown here over the last three economic cycles. Before every recession in modern U.S. history, the Fed inverted the yield curve by raising the short-term lending rate it extends to banks higher than the 10-year Treasury bond rate. Now, Judge the yield curve's recent performance for yourself. Does it look like it is perilously close to predicting a recession, as reported in the New York Times? No, it's not even close. Though sensationalizing the yield curve may sound oxymoronic, the old gray lady incorrectly colored the facts in the minds of millions of readers by showing the yield curve of the two-year Treasury bond instead of the rate at which the Fed loans money to banks, the Fed funds rate. That's the yield curve that matters more than the curve in the Times article. As the 109-month-long expansion closes in on the post-war record for longevity, and investors may become more susceptible to believing misguided analysis like last week's story in the Times, keep in mind that even America's most treasured institution for great journalism colors investment stories sometimes, or just gets financial facts wrong. For news about investing without the color, please subscribe to our email newsletter. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.